So you say your teacher has told you to make a story or a comic strip as a class project. Well, let's break it down to make it feel a little bit more simple. So first step, let's talk about stories. If you take a couple of pieces of paper and fold them in half, you will get um, enough pages to have a cover, six pages on the inside, and then a back. If you need more pages, obviously just use more pieces of paper. So we're gonna wanna write a nice title on the front with our character and then you should always put your name so your teacher can tell who wrote the book and you want to make sure that you have a simple character that you can replicate over and over some of you are really great artists and that's a beautiful thing but when you're trying to make a book for class you don't want to spend hours and hours and hours making really really complicated characters so i'm going to show you how to do some stick figure animals here you can see this is stick figure dog sometimes i throw a tongue sticking out uh, we have an oval with four letter b's as the feet with the head, all you have to do is change the ears and make pointy ears, and now you have stick figure cat, right? Meow. Want stick figure lion? Give that thing a mane. A little uh, fluffy on the tail, and we got a roar. It's a lion. Now, if you wanted to make something that's a hooved animal, then just put little squares at the bottom of the feet. And then we still have that oval, little eye, pointy ear, little tail. Nay, it's a horse. You want a cow? The ears are a little bit more circular and we will get ourselves a cow, right? Um, if you needed a deer, put some antlers on there. I don't know what deer say, I guess. And then for a giraffe, just give it some little horns, a little bit longer neck, boom, you got a giraffe. So I tend to go with nice, easy stick figure animals that have a little bit of character, um, but don't overcomplicate things. Now, then you're gonna map out your scenes. Before you start working on your story, you wanna think about what am I gonna on page one? What am I gonna put on page two? So you have a thoughtful, logical story that includes what your teacher wants you to have. So for me, I'm gonna put page one, Sandy is a rock. For page two, um, Sandy meets water. Page three, Sandy starts falling apart and getting smaller. Page four, Sandy is gone. On page five, I'm going to show how Sandy's parts uh, meet some friends and then on page six we have a new Sandy made out of those rock parts all over again little rock cycle for you um, With a children's book if that's your goal to write a story you want to keep it simple one to three sentences per page or scene um, So you want to make this for children, right? That's your audience Which means that you need to keep the story simple But make sure that you have that proper academic vocabulary in there that your teacher is looking for. You can make things a simple story, but still include all the vocabulary that needs to be there. It's kind of that fine line, right? So each page, you're going to show your character in a different scene. You can use different eyebrows and different mouth expressions um, to kind of change how the character is behaving throughout the story. Here you can see when Sammy meets Rain, pieces of him start falling off. How sad, right? Um, but make sure that um, you have a beginning, a middle, and an end of your story. And so that early mapping really helps to make sure that you have purpose throughout. And like I've mentioned a couple times, always check your rubric and your expectations for your project to make sure that you have all the final pieces. Sometimes students create really, really great work, but they don't meet the criteria of the assignment, and that's a super bummer. For a comic strip, if we want six comics, we're unfolding half hot dog, and then in thirds, and we're gonna have six squares. If you need eight squares, then you would go hot dog and then half and half again. Um, so we gotta make sure we divide our paper nice and evenly and folding is a great way to do that. And then again, we're gonna start with our simple character, except this time in a comic, sometimes we get a little bit um, shorter word sentences because you can um, write in first person in a comic strip if that's allowed by your teacher again. And so instead of saying, this is Sammy, you say, hi, I'm Sammy and I'm a rock, right? Or sometimes you could have it narrating where you have word bubbles and narration. But as always, check with those teacher expectations to make sure that you're meeting the assignment criteria. So happy writing.